I'll be showing you step by step how to add the terms and conditions page to your Shopify store. We'll go through the entire process of generating one and then adding it to our footer menu so customers and search engines such as Google can find this page in our store. So let's start things off from our Shopify dashboard here and we're going to navigate to the bottom left and this is going to be under settings. This is going to open up another sub menu here and the section we want to pay attention to is called policies here near the bottom in the left hand side. If I click on policies, this is going to open up the store policies. So we have our refund policy here. We have our privacy policy and here we have our terms of service or terms of conditions or terms and conditions. So what we want to do is we're going to use Shopify's template generator. So if we click on create from template here, it's going to generate an entire terms of service here. To note, there will be sections that we'll need to fill out. So you want to make sure you're going through this. As we see, for example, noted in these square brackets, it says link to refund policy. So you want to insert your link in there. So these are templates created by Shopify themselves. And so let's say we're okay with this policy. Everything's been updated. Shopify does note in their privacy policy that these are designed to cover your store. However, it says, please review and customize content. So it's tailored to your store and business practices as these can change based on certain jurisdictions. And it does note that these templates, I'm assuming it applies to all of them, are not legal advice and you are solely responsible for ensuring that you meet the obligations under applicable law. So assuming we're okay with this, let's hit save in the top right here. Then I'm going to click the X button to close this window. This brings me back to the Shopify dashboard. And from there, I want to go and add it to my footer menu. So on the left hand side here, I'm going to click on online store, I'm going to open up the theme section. But what I want to pay attention to is navigation. Clicking on navigation opens up the menus for my store. And I have an existing footer menu here, so I'm going to add it to here. You can always create a new menu and then add in your policies. But I've just clicked in this footer menu here. And I'm going to click on add menu item from there. I'm going to call this terms of service just to match the policy generator. And then I'm going to go to search or paste link. Clicking this is going to open up a sub menu. And if I go down here to policies and then I click on the terms of service that was just generated, I can then click add in the bottom right. Next, I'm going to click save in the top here to finalize these changes. So I've now added this to my footer menu number one. So let's go and make sure that this is loaded in my Shopify store. So next, I'm going to go to themes. This is going to open up all my installed themes here. If I click on customize in the center of the page, this is going to open up my Shopify theme editor. Now, without going into all the details here on the left hand side, if I expand the footer section, there is a quick link section here. And if I click into that, I could also add a new block and a new menu. If I click into that, I can then see the menu selected is footer menu number one. And within that, I can see my terms of service. So I can click save to finalize that. And now I can see that my terms of service has been added to my footer menu. So it is now accessible. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where profit calc comes in the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations, including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. It's going to give you a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics so you can make smarter business decisions. You can get a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So this concludes the video here on how to add terms and conditions to your Shopify store. We went and used the Shopify template generator. Now to note, it is a template, so you will have to customize it to your local jurisdiction, just as it says. To note, I'm also not a lawyer, so I can't vouch for the quality of the template. We're just using what Shopify has in there. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.